Question 10 then, the last question, the 2022 Higher Maths Paper 2. Five mark question. It's the one about exponentials here, these exponential equations. The heptathlon is a contest made up of seven events. You get scores for each event depending on your performance. So what it says is, P is the number of points in the 200 metres. P is given by this formula here. How many points would you get if T was 24.55? Well, for the one mark, that's just a case of put that number in there and then press all the buttons. So that means P is going to be, so it's just going to be the 4.99087 times 42.5 minus 24.55 to the power 1.81. Now, there's no need to simplify, there's only one mark. There's no need to simplify that. You could just type that in in one go. So typing it all in carefully, pressing the button and you get 929.0368 and so on. However, the points that are awarded are whole numbers. So that means the points must be 929 for that mark. Part B for four marks. It's just the same again, only it's just a different event. This time it's the long jump. The points are given by this expression. Only this time you know P, you know D, and you define that index. What's the power that's involved this time? Well, just substitute it in. You get 850 points when the distance is, and just check the units are the same, but they were. 600 minus the 210 to the power k, so there's only one thing you don't know, except you've now got an exponential equation here, they've got this exponent to find. Well, just rearrange it. You don't need to tidy this up, you could keep all the figures, but that's so easy that you could just put that down then. So 390 to the power k will be just writing it backwards. So that part's 390 to the k, writing it backwards, it'll be 850 divided by 0 0.188807. Now I've gone ahead with the marks. The first mark was just for putting those two figures into that. And then the second mark is for rearranging it into this part here, just isolating that exponential term. Now, how would you solve that? Logarithms. Something to the power k would be K would then be log base of that something. What's the base of it? It's 390. So that means you've got log base 390 of this thing. Now, even though that might look odd, log base 390, there's a button there which gives you the logarithm of any base. So just put in 390. And then the fraction. And then just press the button and you get 1.40999 and so on. Well, it was given to two decimal places in the first one, so that would seem reasonable to give it to two decimal places here. 1.41 for the last mark. Now, the mark before that was, for, of course, changing from the exponential to the log, using the inverse of something to the power is log base of that something.